Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is my final prep to take this Honda monkey bike around this great country. And I've got a lot to tell you, so cue the intro. Now I am literally on my final prep, time to pack up the monkey bike. Now I've even figured out that I can fit 20 pairs of boxer shorts in this back box that is more than enough for me to be able to go around the whole of the UK plus have a few spares for when I get scared and I make a bit of a mess. But unfortunately, I can now no longer put any pairs of boxer shorts in this top box. I'm gonna have to go completely commando. And this is the reason why. Because on this crazy nuts adventure riding around the whole of the UK, I'm being supported by three major brands. Three major brands. And the first one, is Kais. Now Kais are a well-known heated motorcycle gear brand. They keep you nice and snug on their adventures and they've sent me their latest heated jacket, heated gloves and accessories. How cool is that? And the second awesome company is Gerbin that's also known for their heated motorcycle gear. And they've sent me their latest jacket, their latest gloves and even more accessories. That's two big brands sending me virtually the same thing. This is gonna be a really interesting review. Really interesting. And the thing of it is, I'm not gonna go into exactly the makes and models as yet, because we're gonna do all of that as we ride around on the adventure. And I'll give you my true, true, true opinion of what's benefited me, what works, and all that good stuff. But two of the big brands, both sending me the same stuff, yeah, this is gonna get interesting. And the third major, major brand that is supporting me on this crazy adventure is Roadskin. They have sent me their triple A rated jeans and a bag of goodies. Now, I had the absolute pleasure of talking to one of their team members, one of their big players, and they were extremely, extremely positive and proud about their brand. Unbelievably, they were telling me all about all the hard work that goes into making these, triple A rated. Now, the thing of it is, they were so, so energetic and so excited to be sending me these for this trip that I've decided to do something a little bit crazy, but they've inspired me. And that is, I'm gonna wear this one pair of jeans all the way around the UK to hopefully prove two big things. First of all, these are the best jeans in the world. And second of all, that I naturally smell amazing. So as you can imagine, I am super, super happy to have all three amazing brands support me on this adventure. And of course, that's why I'm gonna be commando because this is now gonna be full of another set of heated gear that I'm gonna swap out throughout the adventure. So we're gonna have one set I'll review and then the other set I will review, I'll talk about the jeans. It's gonna be a massive adventure. They're gonna go through lots of tests in freezing cold weather, rain, snow, blizzards, hail, the entire lot, because it's November and I'm going around the whole of the UK and it's just gonna be rubbish. But this gear should keep me warm, should keep me protected. And I will let you know all the way around how I'm finding it, what I think about it and how it all works. And hopefully you can make that decision if these are the best jeans in the world and which heated gear is the gear that is right for you by the different experiences I have throughout the trip. Anyway, let's move on to some amazing offers. So I've had so many amazing offers. Honestly, my social media has been going absolutely nuts from the day that I said I was doing this trip. It's incredible. It's absolutely mind-blowingly incredible how many people love this channel and want to support me on this crazy, crazy adventure. I've literally had offers for places to stay from John and Groats down to Brighton. It is that crazy. I've had people saying that they're going to come and find me on the tracking link. They're going to buy me a coffee. They're going to try and find me and ride with me and I love it. I honestly, I absolutely love it. Please keep them all coming. I want people to find me. I want this blog to be very interactive. And it's, you know, even if I'm in a hotel and you're like, you know, 30 minutes away and you wanna come and grab a beer, come and grab a beer. But the way I have to work this trip, this is the way I have to work it because obviously I haven't got ever to go around the UK and I wanna capture as much as possible, visit as many different things as I possibly can and make this into such a cool vlog. Now, my plan of it is, and I've already said this in the previous video, but my plan of it is, is to set off on the 3rd of November, about nine-ish in the morning, head to Hunstanton. That is the coastline. Check that as the coastline that I'm gonna start and end from. Then I'm gonna set off north, and I'm gonna go north until and around about 
2 p.m. Every day I'll wear a similar thing. I'm gonna keep going around around 2 p.m. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna check for a hotel that's around two hours further up from that, whichever direction I'm going. Then I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna book probably the cheapest hotel that includes breakfast that doesn't sound minging. <laughs> that is my plan to hopefully make it all the way around the UK without running out of money and all that stuff. And obviously if I can stay at people's on the way around, you are saving me the cost of that hotel room. People have offered to cook me dinner, you're saving the cost meal and I massively appreciate it. And of course I will accept as many offers as I possibly can because it's gonna be fantastic for the vlog and obviously you're helping me out. It's just awesome. But like I said, if I get to two o'clock and for instance, you're an hour or so behind me or you're around there, I've got another two hours of riding I can get underneath my belt. So I won't be able to do it all. What I'd say is follow the tracking link around midday. If you've not, if you've come to find me, come and find me and all that sort of stuff. But around midday, if you think I'm about two hours from where you live, drop us a message about sort of one o'clock time. And like I said, at two o'clock, I'll be pulling over flat coffee and I'll check it. And if it all works out, I will come and stay. Please, please do not be offended if I'm unable to or something else has happened because people are coming to meet me and all that stuff. I will do my best to spend as much time with anybody that wants to get involved in this crazy adventure as possible. So with all that said and done, three amazing brands, all of you lot supporting me and backing me and making all these kind, kind offers, this adventure is gonna be incredible and I cannot wait. In the next episode, we will be setting off on this bonkers adventure. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for sharing and thank you for being part of it. I'll see you then. I'm gonna go get myself ready for this craziness. It's gonna be good. See you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>